anatomical considerations in the Asian the Dr. Shai. Yes. <coughs> Good afternoon everyone. My name is Ali Sino Shabi. I'm a research fellow at the uh, after the Hospital Shay based the University of Medical Sciences. Well, the topic we're going to talk about today is the uh, anatomical considerations that uh, are faced in the Asian knee. As we all know, the human body is in unique correlation between anatomy and physiology. And ethnical differences could be seen in all human features as a means. Uh, these differences will start at the moment of development. Dr. Shan has discussed about these issues. It was a study in 2001, which was performed by Dr. Azari in Turkey. Uh, they evaluated the develop, uh, development of the knee among the Turkish children. And they found that at the age of seven, the maximum mean boundless angle is about 9.6 degrees in male and 9.8 degrees in female children. And uh, they found that this boundless will be up to 11 degrees as they reach to the age of 17. It means they have, you know, a higher boundless needs than the expected rates that we see among, uh, you know, normal populations. On the other hand, there was a study developed in uh, Korea in 2008. They used the full-length views to evaluate the uh, chronological changes that may happen to the knees. And they found that there is no difference between the changes that may happen through time for Korean children rather than in American or the Chinese children. But there was a slight difference here. The chronological pattern had a delay. As you may see, the January was before one year and they got to the neutral alignment at the age of one and a half years and it has been increased up to maximum 7.8 degrees at the age of seven to four and it was continuous and getting to the neutral and adult uh, alignment at the age of uh, seven or eight. Well, there is a scarcity of literature at this point that whether these differences are due to different techniques of measurements or it's because of the racial differences. Because there is no you know, review article to gather all these articles around and uh, analysis all them together to solve this bias. So there is a need of such a study in the literature. The mechanical and anatomical axis is also a major difference between our ethnicity and the Westerners. Uh, well, there was a study in the year 2000. They evaluated the normal alignment of uh, Chinese population. And they found that the knees for normal people is about 2.2 degrees in Paris. So, the same study and somehow the same technique was performed in the Mayo Clinic. And they found that the, this degree is about 1.2 degrees in Paris. So you may see that the Asian knee might be normally be more varus than the Westerners knee. Well, these anatomical variations should be considered while performing knee arthroplasty. There was a great study uh, performed by Dr. Nagami in Japan, which led to a certain ceramic prosthesis which was conducted also in Japan and is apparently using there, which is quite adaptable to their uh, features of their own knees and have their own uh, prospectives. Well, uh, and in their study, they defined the mechanical and anatomical axis of the tibia, not the lower limb. So for defining the and mechanical axis of the tibia, they um, define the uh, central midpoint of the tibia and the two bisecting points, and the line which passes through these three points.
points would be the anatomical axis of the tibia. Uh, and for the mechanical axis, uh, the line that passes through the midpoint of articular surfaces of knee and uh, ankle was considered as the mechanical axis. Then they have calculated the angle between these two axes, which would be the tibia flatter shape angle. They consider the anatomical axis as the reference and any medialization as positive value. So if there will be any positive uh, results regarding the TTSA, it means that the mechanical axis is more medial than the anatomical axis. They also measure the lateral tibial angle to define the uh, morphological features of the uh, metaphys of uh, the tibia. And uh, for measuring this, they calculate the angle between the anatomical axis and the tangent line of the uh, knee articular surface. And they call it the lateral tibial angle. We did the same study in Iran, and uh, we used the uh, triple joint alignment views while we're hearing, and we defined all these uh, angles as well over there to see how are these anatomical features in our population. And the result was something very interesting. You see, uh, in the Nagamins study, which is the Japanese population, they found the TTSA to be about 2.2 degrees. In the Western countries, it is considered to be neutral and tangent together. But the interesting point was exactly here. Iran was in the Middle East. It was not tangent, it was not 2.2, it was 1.2. It is exactly in the middle. So the conclusion of this finding is that the tibial plateau is not symmetric. So uh, we cannot consider the center of the tibia uh, as the landmark for tibial component while performing total neotroplasty among the Middle Eastern population. And uh, there's also a chapter written by uh, me under supervision of Dr. Rustain Dada and Dr. Travishi. Uh, it is called Special Considerations in Aging the Arthroplasty, which has been published recently, and you can have more information regarding these points if you're interested. Thank you very much for your attention.